Hi, how are you doing? Can y'all hear me? It's hot, it's hot. Put on the aircon. Hi, everybody doing okay? I just thought I'd do a quick live video. I don't often do these live videos, but I thought I would do one now just to see how you're all doing. I think it's working, I guess. Any tips? Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna get straight into it. Uh, just waiting in case anybody's online. I just thought I'd have some things to say regarding mental health, mental health crisis, in fact, as you're probably aware. Um, I read online today, the, the Guardian app, doctors fear new child mental health crisis in the UK made worse by COVID. Well, no shit, really. Um, it says surging cases expected as schools reopen and charges report 70% rise in demand for services. Well, that's just terrible and it's unacceptable. Um, this is the crisis on top of a crisis hitting vulnerable children during the pandemic. Some charitable mental health services said they have seen a 70% rise in demand over the past three months with children specifically experiencing and adults uh, eating disorders, self-harm, even psychosis, they say, it's causing serious concern. Well, of course it is. And um, it's been a surge since uh, September and October last year. Um, what's going to happen when people go back to school, when they're going back to school, seeing lots of uh, children feeling lost, sad, confused, anxious, disoriented, going back to school. Um, yeah, saying there's a crisis on top of a crisis. So my question is, if you have any children or grandchildren and they are really suffering and you can see they're suffering from anxiety, and feeling isolated and anxious, maybe a bit phobic uh, with germs and that kind of thing. Um, I'm sure we're creating a nation now of germaphobes, which is terrible. Um, I saw a video online the other day of a young girl, I don't know, maybe three or four years of age. And she was going around to places which she thought were of sanitizers, you know, it could be a water pump or it could be, I don't know, the edge of a chair or something else like that. And she was doing this as if she was going to get some kind of sanitizer. And she was going around doing sanitizer and trying to get sanitized, you know, rubbing her hands and that kind of stuff. It's a little girl, three or four years of age. I think it's tragic. I think it's terrible that we are raising a national, international of kids that are going to be just so anxious to be around people scared of germs, um, stressed to be going back to school, mixing with people, touching friends or family or hugging family members or friends. And um, it's tragic in my opinion. So as we may guess, the question is, what are you gonna do about it? What are you doing about it? You know, if you say if you have children or grandchildren, how are they doing? You know, how is their stress levels, their anxiety, their, their fears about being at school, mixed with people, touching other people, touching things. And um, yeah, I just wondered, well, what are you doing about it? What suggestions you have um, to help them, right? To really kind of calm them down. They can be safe and careful, but not overly anxious, not overly fearful, not overly stressed and phobic of germs, of people. Yeah, there's something that I think, you know, they need to um, be helped and fast before it grows into a an even worse problem than it already is. You know, kids are suffering terribly at the moment, say with all this anxiety and stress. And what are you doing? What, how, how are you managing it for them? Or if you know, um, and for your grandchildren or anything else like that, how are you coping with that yourself as a parent, as an adult, as a grandparent? And how are the children coping as well? Um, of course, you know that I'm a therapist I've been doing therapy since 1996, something else like that. And there are a lot of things that you can do to self-soothe, 
yourself as a parent or as a grandparent or as an auntie or an uncle or as a brother or even as a sister all right so you have younger younger siblings that you can see are really anxious and there's no point in just kind of ignoring it and and pushing it aside and hoping it will get better i think it'd be a good idea for you to do something now about it right before it gets worse you know you really don't want these kids growing up being you know overly anxious and phobic and everything else and basically you know it creates not only about the fear the anxiety about being around people and the, the germs and being phobic and that sort of stuff but how is it going to affect the rest of their life right because it damages the brain the landscape of the brain they're going to be more stressed and more anxious you know about other things as well not just about germs or anxiety you know around people um, it's going to affect all areas of their lives, and it's also going to affect all areas of your life if you're a parent or a brother or a sister or auntie, or uncle or a grandparent. So, you know, it's not just about now, it's the future you've got to really think about for your kids to really help them overcome um, this and as soon as possible. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff out on the internet. Okay, um, quick, relatively quick, effective techniques to help soothe yourself or the child and you can learn these techniques you can learn these these things that you can do yourself and pass on to your children you can do it on them and you can show them for example havening techniques which is an amazing fantastic technique which is super great at quickly calming people down especially children calming them raising their feel good serotonin, making them feel safe, loved, connected, secure. And you can learn to do that. You can do it on yourself to calm and relax you, just to take the edge off, right? Right, having to suffer and, and just try and manage it and self-medicate with God knows what, if you're a parent, right? Or the kids, what are they doing, you know? And there are things that you can do to calm yourself and to help calm your children. if you know you want to know more about this and obviously contact me that's what i'm here for that's my job that's my profession is helping people um, reduce stress and anxiety and worry and if you want to have a session with me then you can dm me and i can teach you how to soothe and calm yourself and how to soothe and calm either your child or your grandchildren or your brother or your sister or, or whoever it might be so please get in touch and I'll do all I can to help you and to show you the best of what I know to quickly calm and relax so they can get on with their lives and not be overly cautious and overly worried and overly anxious about everyday things. OK, we don't want to create a nation of stressed, anxious, fearful, phobic children. OK, so you really got to help them um, come and learn what you can do to help yourself or to help calm and soothe them i've already done some videos on here and also on youtube you can go and look up and see what i'm doing um there's a breathing techniques as well which are very calming takes the edge off quite quick techniques and it's the havening and there's also the tapping techniques as well also very relaxing also very uh, calming and i'm going to show you a quick technique that you can perform yourself or on a child okay and it's very easy very simple so if they're stressed they're anxious all you have to do is just do this technique on their arms or their face and if, say if they're in a straight state of anxiety or fear or whatever um, they can express that to you. you can ask them a few questions about it what's going on what's the matter okay they're already there in that anxiety that worry and then you can perform this technique as i said on them so you can get your your hands like this you can just put them on their shoulders so you'll be facing them and you'll be on their arms their shoulders like this so you're doing it down like that take about one second do it comfortingly smoothly relaxed you know not hurried and as you do this I want you to distract part of their brain, okay? That's that worry and the, the anxiety, whatever, about going back to school, going to school, mixing with people, whatever's going on for them at that moment in time. And this, 
this technique here will just start to calm and relax them. And it's be calming and relaxing for you too. As you do this, it will raise their serotonin. So as you do this on them, you can just talk to them and ask them about something completely different, okay? So you can just ask them, remember the last time we went on holiday and we were on the beach and having a good time? Or what would it feel like to be? What's the favorite thing that you like to do? You know, and talk to, talk to them about something completely different, something, something nice, something pleasant, like being on a beach somewhere perhaps, or going on holiday, or whatever their favorite thing is, their favorite pastime, or their favorite book, or their favorite music, whatever it might be. Talk to them about something obviously completely different to their stress or their anxiety, and talk to them about different things, and say things that they enjoy. Maybe they like music, and what kind of music do they like? What's their favorite kind of music? Maybe you can sing some of their favorite music with them or hum some music, whatever it might be. You can hum the music and you can talk about things that you know that they enjoy, that they're really engaged with, you know, pleasant things, nice things, being in nature or something else. Like that. And do this maybe for five minutes or 10 minutes, just stroking their arms. Take about one second down from the top of their shoulders. So you're going down like this yeah, on both sides. And talk to them in a very soft, very gentle way about nice, enjoyable things, maybe for five or ten minutes. Okay, you should see them calm down and relax and maybe having a laugh and a joke about things. Okay, and then just end with something positive, like a positive statement, like calm, everything's going to be okay, you're okay, relaxed, everything's fine, everything's okay, calm. Calm, calm, peaceful, and peaceful, relaxed, and just say some nice, calming, positive words to them for a couple of minutes, perhaps. Okay, so you've done this distracting for about five to ten minutes, it doesn't matter. You can always repeat this process, right? And then, and then some calm and safe, 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 you're okay, everything's okay, everything's going to be okay and then just stop and then you can probably see how much more calmer and relaxed they are how they feel and you too and you can just repeat that process again so that's just a quick example of things you can do if you have any questions dm me if you'd like to book a session with me that 60 to 90 minute session um, I'm doing some special sessions at the moment to help people um, with this situation. Uh, just get in touch. I can show you what to do, the basis for yourself and for your um, family members. Or you can email me, paul at quantumepr.com. Go to my website, see my YouTube videos. There's lots of stuff out there, but I just thought I'd put this out there anyway to offer you some practical and concrete help. Okay, take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day. Bye.